Dave Bricker here with part two of image swaps and pop-up windows. We already covered image swaps in the first part of the tutorial where we have a blank slice in the middle and we replace it with an image using the swap image behavior which is attached to the thumbnail. In this case what we want to do is we want to open up <clears throat> a new window and using JavaScript which Dreamweaver will write for us excuse me, uh, we can create um, pop-up windows of specific sizes and with specific attributes. What I've done here is created four HTML pages, pop-up 1, pop-up 2, pop-up 3, and pop-up 4.html. They're all uh, pretty much identical, and you'll notice that they have a next button. This is pop-up 1, the next one would be pop-up 2. In pop-up 2, the next one is pop-up 3. In pop-up 3, the next button goes to pop-up 4. In pop-up 4, the next button goes, you guessed it, back around to pop-up 1. And the same is true going the other direction. I'm in pop-up 1, so the back button, the previous button goes to 4, so they take me around. The only thing I've added by hand is a close box and the code for that is javascript colon window dot close followed by an open and close parenthesis. Now you'll notice that the, if you test this in a browser that your close box the rollovers work you can go from window to window and you can see the page changing but the close box doesn't work. That's only going to work if you open a window from JavaScript. So for example, if I open this pop-up window, I can then close it. So you have to open it using the open window command, open browser window, which I'll show you in a moment. Coming back here, it's really quite simple. What I want to do here is I need to add an open window behavior. Here it is, open browser window. I want this to open not the image by itself because then I won't have my arrows, I won't have my close box, and the title would just be um, the path to the image which isn't very pretty and it'll include the dimensions. In this case I've actually given my my pages a title, it's something like portfolio. What I want to do here is I want to open up pop-up one HTML. I want to open that up to 370 by 330. You remember when we were looking through our original slices that was the um, those were the dimensions and I created the page that way and my window name is going to be pop-up and for this example I'm going to call it pop-up 2. Let's save it. Let's preview this and what happens is if I go here it opens up and I think I swapped my width and height. Let's do this real quick. Double click the behavior. Yes, the width is 330. The height should be 370. Save. Preview. There it is. Everything's working. My close box is working. Now, the reason I called it pop up too is if I click this one and move it aside and click this one, you'll notice I have two pop-up windows. That's because I gave those windows different names. If I want four different pop-up windows, I can call them, I can give them different names. If I call this pop-up and then I call the other ones pop-up, which you can, wrong behavior, which you can see that I have here, um, what happens when I save this is they all open in the same window. So if I come back and click again, you can see that the same window is changing. I don't open multiple windows. It, it, it targets that one window. That's pop-up windows in a nutshell. And next I'll be back with a little tutorial on how to get your stuff online.